Hey everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate a feature of Fabric Notebooks, specifically Jupyter Notebooks, where we can incorporate Power BI reports right in the notebook. So first, let's take a look at the Power BI report that I want to embed. And if I go into this workspace and open a report, I can look at this as a kind of an example Snowflake Contoso uh, workbook that I have, and I can interact with it and cross drill and cross filter. And what I'm going to do with this is incorporate it into a Jupyter Notebook. Now in the second tab, I'm just going to go into the data science experience. I'm going to click on Notebook to create a new notebook. And I'm going to connect that to the lake house. I don't really need to do this, but it's just a habit I have. So I'm going to connect it to my default lake house that I use. Okay, now I have a blank notebook. So the first thing I need to do is install the Power BI client. And with the client installed, the next step will be to import the dependencies. So from the client, I'm importing reports and models. That's done. I will need to add authentication to the workbook. Then in the next cell, let's actually do the authentication. So as I run this, I'm doing authentication and assign, assigning that to an auth token. And here I have to kind of go to a new browser tab to do this. So I'm gonna copy the code they gave me. I'll click on the device login. It wants my code. It wants to know what my user ID is. I'm already logged in as that user ID. And then I have to authorize the other browser window to do this. So are you trying to sign in? Yes, I am. Continue. That works. So I can close the window. Okay, so that's done. And to display the report, I need to know the group ID. It's going to be equal to something. And also report ID. And that's going to be equal to something. Now to get that information and I'll just go over to the URL of the report that I want. And I notice in the URL I have groups. So this is going to be the group ID. So I'll grab that. Now if this says me, that means it's in a personal workspace and this isn't really going to work. So make sure this is a group ID that has a UUID as, as the group ID. Put that in there. Then I need the report ID. So that's after reports. Just that UUID from there. Grab that. Put that in here, boom. And then I'll just go ahead and run that. That'll assign those two variables. Then with that done, I can assign the report to a variable. So I'll get an instance of a report with that group ID, that report ID, and that auth token that I generated up above. Go, that's done. And then to display the report, um, I can just type report here run and then I should see the report come up as the output and sure enough it does and you can see it works the same way so all of the interactivity is still working the cross filtering is working and that's it then if I created new cells you know down below I could still do other things The report is still in memory, so I can still display that as well in a new in a new cell. So that's it. So all we had to do to make that happen was we have to know what the report ID and the group ID are. Uh, we have to be authenticated to them, load the Power BI client, and get a reference, and then print that out as the cell response. And there we go. Hope that was interesting, or at least you learned something. I'll see you next time.